as dangerous as they've ever been with drunk or impaired driving suspected in hundreds of crashes each year. But soon there will be more boots on the ground to keep you safe. Elise Corville explains how a new grant will make it happen. Prevention is key and the Baton Rouge Police Department is getting more resources to stop impaired driving. You may not always see them, but they are out there patrolling to keep the streets safe. We're looking for speeders. We're looking for uh, seatbelt use and we're looking for impaired driving. We want to make sure that uh, people are doing what they're supposed to do. For Sergeant Jason Martin, the work to reduce the number of impaired drivers is not just his job, but a passion of his. So let's slide it back on. In 2021, he lost his leg after a drunk driver hit him and a co-worker while they were responding to a traffic crash. Right now, the department has just three DWI officers assigned to the task force watching the roads. Patrol officers are busy. We have a high call volume here in Baton Rouge. They can't always spend their time doing traffic enforcement. We have these funds available to help with that. From a grant funded program, as many as 20 officers can work throughout the night. It's federal funding from NHTSA, the, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The Louisiana Highway Safety Commission administers the state's highway safety grant program. The program is designed to reduce traffic crashes that result in injuries and even death. Law enforcement agencies from across the state apply for the funding that is to be used throughout the year. It works certainly to uh, to combat all bad driving behaviors, not just impaired driving. Um, even though impaired is the catalyst, we would say it helps for everything. Because what happens on the highway when you're not careful can impact everyone. It didn't just affect me, it affected my coworkers, it affected my spouse, my kids, and I'm sure it affected the driver who hit me because his life is altered just as much as mine is now. And this is not a one time safety campaign. The Baton Rouge Police Department hopes to patrol for more impaired drivers throughout the year. Elise Corville for WAFB 9 News.